Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's take a walk into the kitchen and see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, today, I hope we're going to get a treat here. This is Captain Lawrence Brewing Company, and this is their Powder Dreams. Guys, I reviewed one of their Powder Dreams uh, back last May, May of 2019, and uh, had a different hop combination. Uh, this one has uh, Mosaic Lupin Powder, Ella, and Vic Secret Hops. The one I did back in uh, May had uh, Mosaic Lupin Powder, Simcoe, and Ella Hops. So they've switched it up and they've done several different var variations of different hops and they're still calling them Powder, powder Dream uh, on those beers. But they're doing, they're switching up the hops on the uh, different ones here so this is a seven and a half percenter uh, these guys are uh, out of New York uh, and uh, we don't have any IBUs that I see either on Bear Advocate or on Tapton and I didn't see anything written on the can about it so uh, uh, there's no commercial description uh, on untapped uh, and this one probably has some sediment in the bottom so we got it inverted so some, some of that will try to come back down and you know people say roll the can and do all kind of crazy stuff don't shake it up because it's going to spew all over the place this one says canned on eleven fifteen of 2019 so this is a November beer and here we are in February, December, January, February. So this is getting close to the end of its three three month shop life. So uh, wanted to go ahead and get this reviewed. I did pick this up at the Barrel Chest. Uh, if you're local here in the Roanoke Salem area, uh, go by and see Martin and the guys out there at the Barrel Chest. Uh, I wasn't aware that they were getting these beers from this brewery until I was out there the other day. That's why I went ahead and picked up a couple more of them. Uh, I do like what these guys are doing at Captain Lawrence Hayden. They are brewing some tasty beers. Uh, granted, all of them are not 10, world-class, outstanding, uh, but that's just my opinion. You may think it's the best thing you've ever had or tasted. So don't base what you're going to buy or what, you, what you're going to spend your money on, what I say. Uh, everybody's palate's a little different. You may, like I said, you may absolutely think this is the best thing you've ever had. So don't go about what I'm saying. I'm just giving you what I think about the beer. But you got to realize, I've been reviewing beers 10 years. And I've had a lot of good beers and some not so good beers. So uh, uh, there are people that think Miller, Coors, and Budweiser is the best thing they've ever tasted. So don't, don't base what you're going to spend your money on by what I'm saying. I'm just giving you my opinion, guys. So let's get on with this. A big 16-ounce Plain Jane silver can with a uh, stick-on wrap around the label. It's got the ABV and the date on the can. So that's the two most important bits of information that I think we should have seen on there see on there and if they want to give us a, a best before or after the can on date or bottled on date that's fine and if they want to give us the IBUs that's that's also good but uh, the IBUs are not always uh, given out from these breweries uh, so I didn't pour it super aggressive and not much head maybe an eighth of an inch or so does look like a glass of orange juice definitely looks like a New England style beer guys uh, very nice looking beer. So, uh, definitely looks like a New England style, guys. So, uh, let's get it to the nose. Very nice hop aroma. Uh, uh, that mosaic lupulin powder usually intensifies that hop aroma. Very nice. Citrusy, pine, grapefruit. Maybe some melon in there. 
I'm getting maybe a slight hint of oranges or peaches. It smells pretty good. Let's dive in. Cheers. Very smooth, very easy drinking for a 7.5 percenter. Alcohol very well hidden. Very tasty, juicy IPA. That is a very delicious beer. And smooth. To me, I'm not getting a lot of bitterness, a lot of IBUs on this beer. Pretty smooth drinking beer. So let's... Uh, Swirl this around and get that final little sip out of the bottom of the can, and we're gonna we're gonna sip on this for a while, probably 45 minutes or so, and let it come up to room temperature. It's been pretty warm out the last couple of days uh, in the 60s, so uh, a very nice change for February, first week of February. So uh, I enjoy those warmer weather. Don't want to see it. 10 degrees, I don't want to see it 90 degrees. Uh, 70 is good, don't you think? Alright guys, we're going to sip on it. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. I'm going to sip on it about an hour now. Uh, very tasty beer, guys. I mean, it is a very tasty beer. I think it is a very smooth, easy drinking beer. I think it's a well-made beer. Uh, a lot of uh, hop notes on this with the uh, mosaic lupulin powder that they've used on it, that which really ramps it up a little bit to me. That lupulin powder is pretty intense and it's fairly tasty. Uh, I don't think it's a 10 beer, uh, but that's just my opinion. You may think it's a 10 beer and by golly, I, I would not argue with that whatsoever. Uh, depending on where your palate is and what you like to drink and, and what you want to buy and spend your money on, guys. And I've, I've talked about uh, breweries that that have sold out, that are selling out and doing all this stuff and they're not considered craft beer companies or brewers anymore if more than 25% is owned by a big company. Uh, guys, uh, please buy what you want to buy. If you want to support those guys, please do. Uh, that they are still founders and, and Goose Island and a lot of others have sold out and uh, they're still making tasty beers, guys. I mean, uh, uh, I will still buy probably some of those. When I, when I have stated that I would not support them, they are still making very tasty beer. So buy what you want to buy. Don't, don't let me tell you what to buy or what you should buy. Uh, it is your decision to make, guys. Uh, don't let this old man tell you what you should be buying and spending your money on. That's not what this is. This my beer review channel is about. I do still buy. Uh, New Belgium beers and they've sold out. Uh, I have a very limited selection at the Kroger store down here and the little gas station beer store unless I drive 30 miles across town to the barrel chest. Uh, uh, I can't get a large selection of uh, beers anymore. So uh, buy what you want to buy guys. Uh, like I said I still and I actually bought some more Founders beers when I was out there at the CBS. They have some of that still out there and and uh, so uh, don't, don't base what you're going to buy on what I say. Buy what you want to buy. Support who you want to support, guys. So, that's the bottom line there, guys. So This is a very tasty beer. I don't think it's a 10 beer, but like I said, you may think it is. So give it a try. Bye, don't you? Very smooth, very easy drinking. Nice hot presence to it. Guys, to me, I'm going to give this... I'm going to give it a 94. It's the top of the A- minus scale. Almost to the A scale in my opinion. But that's where I'm going to put it. Beer Advocate doesn't have any scores because only one, two people have commented on this beer. So it, one was on December 15th and the other one was on November 17th. So uh, probably a new offering with this hot variety in this beer. So... Over to Untapped. Untapped has it at 4.01, which is in their A- minus scale. Also, I agree with that, but I'm giving it a 94 since it has the date on the can and the ABV on the can. I think it's a very tasty beer, and I may purchase this beer again. So, uh, not everything I spend my money has on has to be a 10 beer. Uh, I mean, if it's an A beer, it's an A beer. 
uh, whether it's A minus A or an A plus, uh, it's still a very well made beer. So buy what you want to buy, guys. Uh, no matter who owns it or whatever, don't don't base what you're going to buy on what this. I'm going to say this this dumbass says sometimes. So uh, I try to support the small independent craft breweries, but there are still some people uh, that want to support these guys that have sold out, and and I and I do too. And like I said, I still buy New Belgium, and I just bought some more uh, founder stuff. So uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to degrade that. I'm not going to say I'm not going to support this brewery or that brewery anymore. Uh, because they're still producing tasty beers, a lot of controversy on some of the breweries that have done this and all that. So I'm not going to get into all that political crap. Uh, uh, so, uh, if it, especially if a beer is sent to me, I'm going to review it. I don't give a damn who owns it. Uh, these these people, my subscribers, and thank you all, uh, have spent their money on it and then spent their money on shipping it to me. And you know. Uh, it is what it is, guys. Uh, it's the world we live in. Uh, money talks and bullshit walks. Uh, uh, sometimes it helps a brewery get expansion and be able to brew more beers and better distribution. So, uh, again, uh, it's what it is. So, on this one, this is Powder Dreams Dry Hopped with Mosaic, Lupulin Powder, Ella, and Big Secret Hops. Big Secret, Southern Hemisphere Hops. A little spicy notes on this. Not, not heavily, but... Uh, a little bit, not 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 as much as some of them are. So uh, it is a very tasty beer. So if you've had this particular edition of Powder Dreams, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.